Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm a technical specialist here at CAD1. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of the best practices for modeling water lines using the CAD1 Part Builder Library in Civil 3D. There are a couple of areas that we'll be discussing. First of all, some of the setup that needs to be done prior to modeling your water lines. I'll then be talking about some of the best practices when you actually get down to the modeling itself. Now, as far as the setup goes, there are several things you'll need to do before you get down to modeling. There are a few settings you'll want to change, primarily around default layers. You'll also need to create the appropriate styles for the different parts. In my experience, each company wants to see things differently, and this is why we don't provide styles for the parts. You'll also need to set up a handful of rules that will make modeling much easier. Once all of this is done, you'll need to combine the parts, the styles, and the rules into a parts list. When it comes to actually modeling the water lines, typically you'll draw the water lines using standard AutoCAD tools and you convert this to a pipe network. Once you have done this, you'll also need to add additional pipes to the network, whether it's a single hydrant or another long run of pipe. 